Hi guys and welcome to yet another Unreal Engine 4 devcast. Today we are going to talk about a new Unreal Engine 4.13 feature and it's called Blueprint Texture Painting. So now you are able to paint uh, onto textures inside Blueprints using Blueprints inside Unreal Engine 4. So it's pretty sta straightforward to set up and I will show you how. You can download the content uh, examples uh, that Epic provides for Unreal Engine 4, but uh, they don't really go into into the general use case stuff. They they use planes, and for example, they don't utilize the new Find UV Collision nodes. So they do their manual cal calculation for the for the actual plane they are using inside their level. I am going to show you how to paint onto anything pretty much. So I combined their example with the utilization of an another feature inside Unreal Engine 4.13 and that's find UV collision from hit tests. So let's start. I already opened uh, my Unreal Engine and it's it's pretty easy. We are going to use these five things. I used the uh, first person tutorial you can to set up this little world you can use anything you want and I, I prepare these five assets we are going to use and this is how it looks you can paint onto onto this cube onto this geometry so let's start first we create our Render target. As you can see, since render target is, is persistent <laughs> inside the uh, editor, this is what we painted into the render target. It's easy to create. You you'll just create inside the materials. You create render target. It's a specific. To put it simply, it's a specific texture where you can r render into. So we are going to use the new feature of Unreal Engine to render these. Uh, this this painting inside this render target. You were able to utilize render targets even even previous previous Unreal Engine versions, for example, to render some kind of camera and then have a monitor inside your level to render the camera. But but now we will be able to draw into the render target directly uh, with a specific material we want to use. And the specific material we are going to use is this paint material. This is the material you will find in content examples provided by Epic. It's pretty simple material. This, this is actually what's going on. Is you will tell the material using a parameter, force position, where on the UV set it should paint the stuff, basically. So where where it should, <laughs> where it will be visible. The, your, your painting, to to put it simply. So it specifies, you utilize the texture card and you specify the force position. Uh, it's only a two, 2D vector, that's why we mask the uh, red uh, green channel. We are utilizing only the red green channel. And this is how we, how we specify the position inside, inside the output, inside the, <laughs> the material we are going to, to draw into. And then th there is the force size and force strength. Size is the size of your painting or your brush, to put it simply. And then there is the strength. So how, how strong the painting will be. Something like you can compare it to alpha, if you will, or, or the flow inside Photoshop and stuff like that. And then we, we just create, uh, create a vector from all these, from this number that we, we just cal calculated. Uh, we, 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 we create just from just the red one, you will you will paint red. Uh, I, uh, I need to tell you that at the moment under, in Unreal Engine 4.13 you are only able to utilize the emission for the emissive color for painting. I, it's you can't uh, you can't paint to any other of these 
you you can have you can uh, utilize other of these nodes in your <laughs> paint material, but only the emissive, only this this node will be, will be painted onto the final material that you will specify, and then you you can utilize this in any way you want in, inside the final material. I will show you the final material. It's a paint canvas. Uh, it it looks complex, but this is because I just took the marble from the content, the starter content, and here inside the, this is the marble you will get if you if you download the, the starter content. And here I just took a specific texture sample where I specify the render target we are using as a as a source, and I simply add it to the marble. To the to the base color of the marble. That's why we see it here. You you can take this and and put it to a roughness, so you you can actually paint the roughness. Does doesn't matter. What what you are limited by the emissive color is the that you can paint into this render target just using the emissive color channel, if you will, of the of the material. So you utilizing any of these others doesn't really matter. You could, for example, you can you can paint uh, tr transparency if <laughs> just by using the texture sample from the render target. I will I will show you uh, which we want the transcoolant material, and we will paint opacity here. Let it refresh. Now, if we apply, let's uh, recompile the shaders. Wait a bit. And now, if we go, with the, we, we we are painting the transparency of the cube as well. So we are not that limited with the emission color because that applies only to the to the actual material we are going to draw into the final into the final uh, into the re render target. But you can <laughs> utilize the render target in any way you want, not just on emission. Itself. This is this is something that people that I talked about uh, talked about this with were kind of confused. Okay, it's very limiting. You, we can only paint to to emissive channel. No, you can you, yes, you can utilize only the emissive channel for the for the painting itself. But you, then you can use the render target in any any way you want to. You can even do obviously you can do the one minus. to make the make the cube disappear now it's going away so we can disappear <laughs> your geometry using using the painting as well okay so these are the two materials first this is the material we are going to paint with this is our brush utilizing the here is the position we will calculate using the UV collision. We just transfer it into the te texture coordinate space, into the UV space, and, and then make it as, as large as we want to, basically. And as, as strong as we want to. And then there is the canvas, which we can take any, any material we want. You want to apply to and just add the texture sample for the with the render target as a source, and then play with it feel free to play with it. Now there is this character. I just took the first person first person character from the first person example. Uh, as you can see there is this there is this input and stuff. This is nothing new. What I just did is input action fire which is a mouse button. I set that the mouse is down and the mouse is up. This is again from the from the epic example from the content examples. And then during each tick because it's not only on uh, mouse button action because I can just push the mouse and and go and paint. I don't need to click 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 to to paint. I just check if the mouse is down, then take the location and rotation from from the camera obviously to for the raycast and I created this this function. It's again it's a modified function from the content examples if you will. And I utilize the simple line trace by channel on the visibility. So basically from the camera then I add the add the distance 
it's specified in the interaction distance how how long the ray cast should be and i just do the the trace be aware here that you need to use the trace complex if you don't utilize the complex if you don't don't do the complex trace the find collision uv will not work it will all it will tell you that it will, it will always return zero zero so this is this is a major point here and a checklist stuff that you need to do the complex trace to to utilize the fight collision uv once we have the trace we simply break the hit result if we hit something and it's a valid actor we are hitting we gather the collision uv which is a 2d vector in in the first uv channel obviously we can util we can utilize if you have more uv channels feel free to to fin find collision in in any other uh, uv channels and then we send it as a damage uh, this this is not something i came up with it's from the context examples again and they're utilizing it because it's all already it's a, it's a function inside the unreal and all actors have this so you don't really need to create a custom event even though i would if i if i were work, if i was working with this in a serious manner i would create my own function and cast it to to a stuff that's that's a that's valid stuff for my use case and uh, then send it but uh, they are utilizing this method because it can be utilized to to send all the data we actually need here we are uh, setting the instigator as a controller and the actor itself as a dam damage causer and then what we are sending here is is this hit from direction and that's the uv we found so this this is the uv the 2d vector inside our inside our texture we, we are where we are going to actually paint since hit from direction inside the po apply point damage is a 3d vector we need to add the, the third element and it's a zero element and then we are sending the actual actor we are we are hitting but this is the main stuff we need and it's the position inside uv space where we hit the actor and then that's pretty much all from the from the player perspective we don't have anything in the construction script the last thing we have is this cube which is a paint blueprint as i call it and that's where we do all the all the magic it's a simple static mesh component with a with a material that we created dynamically and we are creating it inside the construction script because we are going to paint into it we need a reference to it and we also create a, we also create a material instance for the actual brush material which we call paint material it's the paint m i sh showed you that's the that's our brush and that's the paint canvas it's the actual material we are going to apply apply the uh, render target into so in our paint blueprint we have a cube and in the construction script we create an instance of the canvas material we apply it to the to the cube and then we create the instance of the brush material i call it paint material and we set it as a reference because we are going to use it and then we can even use these to modify the size and the strength of the of the brush I'm going to show you here. So this is the event we are going to utilize since we are we are applying the the damage. Don't know why Epic decided to do it this way, but you can do it in any way you want. You can use function, you can use events, any way you want. But they utilize this to probably simplify the code, the code content examples. So in our point damage event, which is instigated by the apply uh, apply, uh, apply damage we called we are utilizing the shot from direction that's the only thing we need that's the point in uv space where we hit the cube and here we are setting all these parameters 
to specify the values for our brush. So we are using brush size, which, which is constant here, you can change it. We are using brush strength. So this is the size of the of the brush and this is the, the flow or the, the alpha of the brush to, to simplify it, how strong the brush should be. And this is the position of the brush inside the render target, which we extract from the from the shot from direction that we found using the new, which is a new, it's not back in a 4.12 Unreal Engine, it's a new find collision from UV uh, inside the hit tests and you need to use, I repeat again, you need to use complex tracing inside the line trace. And then we utilize the, another of the new functions inside Unreal Engine 4.13 and that's draw material to render target. And we are going to draw inside into the paint render target and we are using our paint material is our brush material which is a paint M and I repeat you only it's only going to paint the emissive color if, if you specify anything else here only the emissive color will be painted for now inside the render target then you can utilize the render target any way you want so here I just edit on big and play I am clearing the render target because if I didn't do that as you can see I can now paint here if I didn't do this and run it you st you will the render target will not not clear it's persistent persistent inside Unreal Engine instance obviously all the render targets are so if you want to clear it clear it just on the big and play never clear it on some kind of tig or because it's 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 not really a fast stuff clearing the render target so be aware where you are clearing your render targets always be aware of them this is not Unreal Engine stuff this is basic GPU stuff and that's pretty much all guys Next uh, devcast, uh, which will be soon probably, I'm going to talk about uh, n another new feature in 4.13 and uh, that's, uh, that's the slicing, where you can slice objects using uh, new, new features inside Unreal Engine 4.13. It's part of this project actually, but I, I want to keep it simple, I want to keep it the devcast small and just showcase one feature. Any any feedback is welcome. If you have questions, post them right there under the video. And if you have suggestions for future dev cards and what you want to know inside uh, Unreal Engine 4, 4.13 or even earlier, just ask and I will try to help you or explain stuff. Thank you guys and see you in the next devcast.